Okay, Aries, this is the second part of your video. I'm going to try to edit this to combine the videos. If I don't get a chance to, you're going to see part one and part two. But I wanted to make sure, and this is a different camera, so hopefully the sound quality is as good as the other one. If it is not, my apologies in advance. But I want to make sure we keep up with that same energy of a lot of wealth trying to come in. But first, you got to be you got to be in receiving mode. So source is trying to send messages to close out some cycles that have been draining you and close those cycles out airtight. Doesn't matter what physical bodies they come in, whether it was in your personal life or your professional life. Source is trying to tell walk away from it. Just walk away from it. Close it out. No more conversation about it. You know, you're a fire sign. You can talk into a fire pit and start the process of healing through rest, first and foremost. Let's get ready to, um, and, and so I was giving you your questions. I'm giving you your questions. Um, the third question is, or the second question is, and I'm going to run through on one through five again, just in case somehow, you know, when the camera, you know, the battery died on the other camera, we missed out on the question. So the first question was, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, and harmony into the world? Um, how could you amplify that? Second question is, what would happen if you spent more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves? The, sec the third question is, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa? Fourth question is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least, Aries, is what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? So those questions are for every sign. So it's not like specific for Aries. It's for every sign uh, as it relates to this moon in Libra. We're coming on up, coming up on a full moon in Libra on the 6th, and it's a pink moon. I believe it's the only pink moon we're going to have this year. Um, and so this is where you're dreaming bigger, dreaming bigger and closing out cycles, you know, closing out cycles. I know this is you guys' birthday month. And like I said, uh, happy birthday to each and every one of you all and congratulations to the winners of, you know, the giveaways so far. But make this your best year yet. You know, don't go into, if you haven't already uh, celebrated your birthday, if you're about to go into your birthday, get serious about closing out cycles. That's how you live your best life. Like seriously, close out cycles. It may take you a minute to forgive some things that you may have felt like somebody hurt you in the past. But the first part of healing is rest. That's one of the most overlooked rituals because people are like, I can't rest. Like my mind is just racing a thousand miles a minute. Remember, you're a fire sign. That's another way that you heal is through fire, tossing things into a fire bowl, right? You know, fire pit and just, I need to release this. I need to release it. I need to recognize when burnt bridges have been burned or people cut themselves out of my universe and I need to move on. I need to forgive myself. I need to eventually forgive them, you know, and move on. Here we have the Hermit card. We have the Temperance card. We have the King of Pentacles again, a Two of Cups and a Three of Wands. So when I tell you that source is trying to make somebody double wealthy, if you're not in receiving mode from anybody else because you've been hurt in the past, be in receiving mode from source. Source is trying to give somebody the ticket to how you become wealthy. Is first close out cycles where you have gotten so frustrated and angry and burned up, you know, like you just feel emotionally drained. Close out those cycles. If all when you think about certain people, places, and things, if you get that angry, sources like it's time to close out the cycle because that is playing a role in burning up your money. So you have here we have the temperance card, and this is sources' way of saying temperance card is attached to. Um, uh, uh, Sagittarius, and we're not talking about any Sagittarius that you know. Sagittarius is ruled by this planet right here, Jupiter, and all, and from a high, you got to have see it from a higher frequency. Somebody has to come up out of that low root chakra, being out of balance, and come all the way up to your crown chakra. I got to see this thing from like I got to see this thing in faith, right? And so we have the two of cups. Also, source is trying to send soulmate across somebody's path. If you're already with your soulmate and you you desire to expand your soul family or your soul community, or your soul, you know, tribe, or you, whatever you want to call it, then source is like, okay, you're going to have to close out some cycles, because this right here at the root, somebody really, um, some, somebody allows someone to irritate somebody's demons, whether it was about your family, something that, you know, some kind of insecurity, some kind of instability, maybe somebody was disloyal to you when you dated them, uh, maybe, you know, somebody was impatient with you in some way, shape, or fashion and caused you your impatience to come out. Whatever it was, source is like, it's time to stop ruminating over it. It's time to take some kind of action to go from four to eight of cups. Instead of sitting around, source is like, get up and, and operating your, your purpose. That's where your healing is right here. 
That's where it is. So that you can get to right here. Two of Cups. Your person. Right? Or your people. Or your community. Or your tribe. So somebody is definitely in hermit mode. And so in hermit mode, you're learning directly from the teacher. The teacher is not a person. The teacher is source within. That's the teacher. Right? That's the that's the professor. That's the teacher. That's the, the, the wisest counsel. All of that. Here we have the three of wands. And so see how this person right here, this all of this water right here. This water represents joy, creativity. So when I tell you that source, you should, at a higher frequency, you're expecting great things to happen on the horizon if i walk away from this source not i hope you send my person or my community across my path my soul community across my path and i hope you send additional wealth across my path i know you will i just need you to sacrifice something first and so that sacrifice is you know allowing something you know be constantly being in fight mode you know constantly you know entertaining treacherous conversations about some things right all of those things. So let's, let's see what else we got going on here. So hopefully those questions will help somebody this week as we get closer and closer to a full moon in Aries. I mean, full moon, excuse me, in Libra. Um, and I'm speaking to Aries, obviously. But again, let's get ready to close this out. Let's get ready to close this out. Aries, this is nice. Very, very nice for you. I want to see somebody who is double wealthy. I mean, seriously, double wealthy. But I'm telling you, somebody's going to have to stop tell, telling people that money is coming my way. Like somebody's going to have to stop telling people, I'm expecting to check in the mail. I'm expecting to refinance because people see refinance. Oh, they must be saving some money. So they got some money for me. <laughs> what? So you're going to have to stop telling people that, you know, things are coming your way. They're just going to have to see you pull up in a new car. They're going to have to see you you know, taking the for sale sign out of your front yard. They're going to have to see, you know, they just going to have to see the finished product. And just like you got it the, the way that you got it by closing out cycles and vibrating higher, you can inspire them to do the same thing, right? So I do see somebody breaking some kind of generational cycle, breaking some kind of generational curse or chain. Somebody has totally transformed. That's what the judgment card represents. Somebody has totally transformed their own lives at a higher frequency, especially when something from your past was deeply overwhelming for you. And we're talking about your personal and professional life. Eight of Pentacles, more money. It's more income, incoming information. So when I see this much money in somebody's cars, God has been trying to get somebody all kinds of messages through. And so get messages to take action, right? Six of Swords, somebody's sailing away from something finally without looking back. No regret. I'm sailing on to dry land. That dry land represents your money. I'm getting I'm getting rooted and grounded. I'm dealing with my demons. I'm learning how to put them under submission so I can become wealthy. I know it's meant for me to be wealthy. Like some of you all feel like I can taste money in the air. I can feel something good is about to happen for me. But again, when you start telling certain people, they sitting there rubbing their hands together. Mm, Aries about to get a check in the mail. Their income tax is coming in or... You know, they refinancing some property or they about to start, they getting a raise at work. When you're telling people this and you're telling certain people that they looking at, they're not inspired to do the same thing that you did to put the hard work in. They're inspired to see how they can create some kind of story to get that money out of your hands, right? And so Source has been sending somebody messages for a long time. And so that's where your breakthrough is going to come in is when you sail away from things that that you know emotionally drains you that was cutting into your money and so this signs everywhere we have the queen of wands if you start to notice if you really pay attention really pay attention when you look at your life when you pay attention to just your life when you're when you're no longer when you're not around certain energies you feel more energetic you feel happier you feel more care you feel charismatic you feel free and so it is not until it comes back up, whether it's coming up in a dream, coming up in a, some kind of a download. Remember, those are just the moon phases, just to test your feelings, your emotions, your subconscious habits, Aries. When it comes back up, some people, you know, start talking about it, start entertaining it. That's just a test. All of that's a test. Let's see what your next move is. Your dreams will bring the answer. That's why God wants somebody to get some rest. You all do not you all don't have a problem attracting people. Like you all you all don't have a problem attracting people. You all don't have a problem attracting love. You don't have a problem attracting money. Believe it or not, you really don't. It's that when you start to realize that every time I tell if you really sit down and think about it, Aries, as soon as y'all start telling people that money is coming your way or something having to do with money is coming, you're expecting something, the same hands are out. Y'all know who they are. You know exactly who they are. The same hands are out. They all it's like it's like in their mind, 
They don't have to go get another job. They don't have to, all they have to do is hands out to Aries. And because you all are givers by default, you're robbing yourselves. You're really robbing yourself. And God keeps sending you information about stuff. So positive affirmations, positive affirmations. Um, Source wants you to say some positive affirmations to yourself. Start planting the seeds that you want to grow and knowing that some kind of an approval is coming your way. Some kind of an approval coming your way. Um, and the approval is from Source. The end of a tough cycle approaches. The end of a tough cycle approaches. You could have had a tough cycle with a Capricorn for somebody. When you're talking about Capricorn. But also, maybe you didn't have a tough cycle with a Capricorn. Capricorn complains. You could have Capricorn in your birth chart, too. But it could have been a tough cycle with, um, when we talk about Capricorn, Capricorn being a cardinal sign like you all are. I believe that we, we close out this cycle with Capricorn. You know, last quarter moon, I believe, is in Capricorn. Because this entire cycle is about initiating change in your own universe. And so Capricorn, if you don't, if you didn't, if you never had any issues with a particular Capricorn, because I don't want to get stuck on zodiac signs. Capricorn is ruled by, um, I thought I saw the card up here. It's ruled by uh, Saturn. There we go, right here. So Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So this is further reiterating for somebody to get real serious about closing out some cycles airtight. So that even if you're tested by somebody else bringing it up, you can say, no, let's talk about something else. We're not talking about that. Like, that's not making me any money. Why am I talking about this? Why am I letting somebody? Because God is going to keep sending the test until you learn the lesson, right? And so you, you decide. Time is relative. You decide when you want to see your wealth. You decide. So let's see what else we got going on here. Five, five, five. I am optimistic. A major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your path to direction. That's why I said you want to be in receiving mode. Receiving mode, first and foremost, of source uh, sources um, suggesting that you get some, um, some, some uh, rest. Be open and stay positive. Be open and stay positive. A lot of people create their own karma because of them saying negative things about people, um, you know, trying to cast negative spells on people, sending bad energy to people's businesses, talking about stuff like words. Words have power, right? And so when you're saying things, even if you're complaining about somebody else, it's just like you know, that energy is coming back to you. That energy is coming back to you. Let's get ready to close this out. Clarity. I am clear on my purpose. I am here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action towards the things that matter. Alrighty, that's what we have for you. And I will see you all. Let me see if we got one. Did I pull one of these cards? Let's see if we got one more oracle card for you. One more oracle card. And let's go ahead and get ready to close this out. Let's get ready again. This is the second part of your video. Humility is your card. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. So that's the first voice you're listening to is Source. What is Source trying to tell somebody? Source is trying to tell you, close out some cycles, move on from something. Stop talking about it. Stop you know, overthinking a situation. Just move on from something so you can make room to receive a fresh new start, new beginning for somebody that's going to be, like I said, king of pentacles. You got this coming out twice. This is not just um, wealth and healthy relationships. This is also um, this is also material wealth, like money you can touch, see, spend, all of that. That's what this is. And you got it coming out twice in your cards. That's what I have for you, and I'll see you on Motivational Monday. Bye.